Good morning. Today is Friday. We've got some errands to run here around the house. And as we do, I'm going to tell you five things, five tips that I think will help make you a better music director um, and better for your next event or gig. Let's go. All right. So here is tip number one. And tip number one is simple and probably obvious, but you need to know your instrument and be prepared for your parts a lot better than you typically would be. When you're having an MD or music direct, playing your instrument is really secondary. Directing the band is primary. So if you don't know your parts well enough to be able to play them without having to think about it or look at your hands or look down or whatever and give the band direction, then you just don't know your parts well enough. All right, so tip number two is to try to do your best to be aware of spots that could be a problem. A couple examples of this are alternate chord progressions, maybe there's big cuts going into a chorus, maybe the arrangement's kind of weird, like it goes back into a bridge or something like that at the end. So just try to be aware of that ahead of time so that if the band messes up on it, you can give them direction or you can actually cue them live during the gig. installing these things. I have to take it out every time I put drums in my car. And you would think after all this, I'd be a lot better at putting them in, but I'm not. Anyways, here's our third tip. The third thing you can do is to just go ahead and prepare ahead of time for transitions. Look at the songs, look at the keys, look how they flow, and just go ahead and have in your head two, three, four ideas of how you could get from song to song, some creative ideas, some easy ideas. So much so that at rehearsal, you don't have to stop. You can just, you have the transitions maybe already set up in your playback system, whether that's Ableton or something else. You can talk the band through it. And it might be a little rough the first time, but at least you can run it. You don't have to do the whole thing where you practice all the songs and then go separately practice all the transitions, but you've already got in your head how to handle the easy transitions and the hard transitions. First airing of the day, the place you have to go every weekend, I think. All right, so it's a beautiful day. Kids are playing at the park. They're playing getting along for now. Not been so good so far, but let's try this. So tip number four is to use, use your ears. Use rehearsal as a time to listen and take mental notes. If you did step one really, really well, you should not really need rehearsal to practice your instrument very much. So you use rehearsal to listen and take notes. For instance, if there's a song in chorus one, the drums are supposed to drop out. But every time you practice a song, the drummer does not remember to drop out. You need to make a mental note that going into chorus one of that song, I need to cue drums out. So tip number four is listen really, really well during rehearsal and make mental notes. All right, now we're gonna do one of my least favorite tasks of the weekend. That dude needs a bath. I'm supposed to let that soap sit on him for 10 to 15 minutes, which there's no way that's happening, but we'll let him sit in that shower as long as he wants. All right, final stop of the day is dinner, and it's one of our favorite spots. If you're ever in the area, you gotta come try it. It's the best food. It's $8. It's the end of our day, and tip number five is this. Just be cool. Stop getting so nervous and freaked out. Everybody matches your energy. So just show the team, show the band, everything's okay, don't be so uptight. Nobody executes or performs well when they're uptight. So be loose. Maybe even say a joke on the MD mic, everything will be all right. Thanks for watching the blog, like, share, subscribe.